Friday flicks, a remake of an animated classic, and a Netflix premiere are available this week. So here to tell us all about it, Dumbo and Highwaymen, our film critics, Pam Paul and Chuck Plinsky. Good morning. How are you? Good. Good. How are you? Doing great. So I'm excited about this. Uh, this remake I've been thinking about for a while. Give me an earful. What was it like? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we can always count on you, can't we? We really we can. We can't yeah. always count on Disney. Oh, wow. Pam Paul. Fighting words. Um, you know, this is, this is, as you said, a remake from the 1941 classic animated mm -hmm. version where these cute little animated characters and animals came to life. Unfortunately, this live action remake does not live up to the charm of the first time around. Oh, man. Um, we've got Tim Burton directing this one. He gave us Alice in Wonderland, another remake um, from a classic animated version. Um, Colin Farrell stars in this film. Um, as Holt Ferrier, um, he's a returning veteran from the war, returns to this dilapidated circus to his precocious children, who um, unfortunately their mother has passed away while he was at war. He comes back with one arm um, to a, as I said before, dilapidated circus, and this cute little elephant is born with these large ears. <laughs> Same kind of premise, he learns to fly. Uh, Nico Parker plays the little girl, and you'll recognize her, she'll look familiar because she's the Newton's daughter. Hmm. Um, we've got plenty of villains in this as we see the sad, sad tale unfold. And this is just downright sad all the way through as this baby elephant is ripped from his mother's trunk. Um, and th their goal is to reunite uh, the mother and the baby elephant. I had a sense of dread throughout the entire film. Thank you, Chuck Koplinski, who told me You're someone welcome. was going to die. Um, so I had the sense of dread throughout the entire Wait. film. I don't remember this at all. I do, I do, which is why I sat with that, that impending doom throughout the <laughs> entire film. Um, it does have a redeeming quality at the end, and animation, of course, is wonderful, and you catch the eyes of this little elephant, and mm. that is what uh -huh. really pulls you in, is how <laughs> this elephant engages you. Chuck, do you have something to say? Yeah, what the heck? I'm just giggling. He's so cute. Is he really so laughing? Like, I feel, yeah. yeah, that's I, why I'm laughing. I'm not oh, laughing at her. I'm oh, just shocking. giggling at <laughs> no, I'm not keeping that on the inside this week. Did you like, did you like this? Did I you like not? this movie. I like this movie. You know, and, and Pam... What? You know, I, I don't what? know when the last time it was that you saw the first one. You know, I don't know oh, if we were dealing yeah. with early onsets Alzheimer's. Oh, my. But in it's the just first like one, one year older but than in you. the first one, Dumbo is ripped away from his mom. In the first one, it is a sad movie. Yes, it is sad. It is depressing, just like this one is. But it was cute, too. The no, animated characters were cute and so adorable. That, these the guys are cute, too. Cute. Jumbo was always really sad to me. Uh, like, I didn't I mean, enjoy it as a kid. More sad than Bambi. Yeah. And Bambi they were devastated me. Yeah, they were both very yeah. I'm sitting here with children. Disney, Disney killing I'm moms. sitting here with children. <laughs> um, I, I don't think so. You're sitting here with women who are honest about their opinions of animated films. And That's shockingly, fine. we have opinions too. Isn't yes. that crazy? It's crazy. Women crazy. having opinions. My about goodness. Moms. Wow. Chuck, so did you like, did you overall, you didn't like it? I did like it. <laughs> okay, so the I point can't I tell where you're at. Make, what? I can't tell where you're at. Uh, well, you know, if you'd let me get a word in edgewise, maybe <gasps> you would know. Oh, Chuck is actually kind of. Tamped down. I am tamped down yeah. today because, right. you know, this is a good movie. Okay. Look, in, <laughs> you can't have characters succeed and be happy when they succeed unless they go through a lot of crap. Yeah, but, I mean, it's and they, all he did, a lot of crap. And then he succeeds, it's and it is a glorious, happy. glorious moment when he flies because he stands in for all the other ostracized people that we meet on in the circus. This is a much better movie than Greatest Showman, which everyone loved. Greatest <laughs> Showman dealt with... I didn't think that was that great. I, I couldn't make it through Well, I'm just that saying, public-wise, it was a okay. huge hit. Yeah. Uh, you know, it deals with the same theme, you know, as outsiders trying to be accepted. Same thing here, and I thought it was done much better. I liked it. Yay for okay. you. Yay All for right. me. Address the elephant in the room. But now, The Highwaymen on Netflix, right? So what is right. this about? On Netflix. Interesting story, and I'm quite frankly uh, surprised they haven't told this story before. There we see Woody Harrelson and Kevin Costner. They play Frank Hammer and Manny Galt. Two real live guys. These guys were Texas Rangers at one point. They are retired at the beginning of the film, but dire consequences bring them out of retirement when the uh, Texas governor, uh, played by Kathy Bates, reluctantly asks them to come out of retirement to hunt down Bonnie and Clyde. Uh, and here we go as they are trying to a great little uh, jailbreak uh, that occurs at the beginning of the movie. Kathy Bates there, as oh. I say, is the governor. We've seen this story before in that these guys are old and they're set in their way and they have a real hard time dealing with the way things are done 
in the modern age, according to this film. There's new ways of tracking down outlaws. There's new ways of investigating things. These guys don't want to have anything to do with it. They uh, go on their instinct. They go on their gut. And they are ruthless in the way they pull off this job. Uh, Pam has said, and I agree with her, this good-looking film movie looks great. Period details are spot on. You really think you're back in the 20s and 30s, which I love. Uh, film's too long. I mean, it's just too darn long as far as uh, the chase that ensues and some needless scenes that go along. However, Costner and Harrelson, uh, they knock it out of the park. These two guys, you know, it's not their first rodeo. Mm -hmm. uh, they have the gravitas, the charisma that you need for parts like this. And I like the fact that they have no problems showing these two men as being incredibly flawed. Mm -hmm. Incredibly flawed, incredibly out of step, but still holding on to a sense of honor that gets them through this. Uh, like I say, overlong, but overall I liked it. Strong cast here, Pam. Do you like uh, it as well? I, I did, I did, and I agree with Chuck. It was too long, mm -hmm. um, but it is gorgeously shot, and you are transported to a bygone era, and these two actors have a chemistry, a naturalness about them that you really feel that they are portraying the people that they are. Um, it's it, it's really, it's a road trip movie. It's a buddy mm -hmm. road trip movie, and we get to know these two characters, and yes, it's about Bonnie and Clyde, but we never meet Bonnie and Clyde. Not really. Um, I have. They're I sitting have. to my right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and, but I mean, it's a really wonderfully done movie. It's an insightful movie, and we get to know these two men and their guilt and yes. their, their remorse for how they've Things lived they've their done. lives, yet they're still driven in that same way yeah. to execute their final final goal. Ooh, gotta check that one out. I didn't know about it until you guys tell me, but really cool to see another movie on Netflix. So that seems to be the way things are going. Yes, a lot of is. things are, yeah. yes, absolutely. However, there is a movie also starting today in theaters called Gloria Bell with Julianne Moore. Mm -hmm. It's at uh, local theaters. We've got a review on our website. That's cool. Right. You guys can check them out. Go to their Facebook page and then go to their website. Give them a like first. Please do it as a favor. Uh, and check out their page because it's pretty cool and they've got a lot of stuff on there and giveaways and contests sometimes. You bet. Yep. Some fun stuff on there and just learn about some movies if you want. Thanks, Chuck and Pam, for being here. You bet. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We'll be right back.